Hi everybody, Peter Satira from CDC here with our very own DJ Sayre. We're uh, sitting down talking with DJ after the U.S. Darts Masters. As you probably know, DJ was one of the eight that qualified through. He played yesterday in the North American Championship and today in the Darts Masters, uh, falling to Daryl Green. DJ, why don't you give us a uh, little rundown of your week, uh, your week and weekend. What, what did you think of the whole event, qualifiers all the way through? Okay, the, uh, so the week in general, I, uh, I got off to a hot start. I made the final, lost to a very informed Chris White. He played phenomenal, putting in a couple of 13 darters with the throw, made it darn near impossible for me to, uh, to really win the match, given that he had the darts. Uh, so I knew from there I just needed to be steady, play well and I would I would qualify I'm sure that's probably not the best attitude I'd like to go out there just thinking win one and you're good but it, it's sometimes a little better to be safe than sorry I, uh, I managed to get two top 32s and a top eight to seal the deal finished second the order of merit got through was pretty satisfied with that I mean obviously coming out here the goal was to be one of them like I I've been putting in the time, which is rare for me, if I admit. Um, so yeah, to, to finish one of the top eight, I was I was satisfied. Then yesterday happened. Um, I I don't know that I've ever been so nervous in a darts match in my life. I, I have to give it up to to Willie. He played phenomenal. The, I mean, he steamrolled me and everyone else he played. Winning it, cheers to him. But yeah, I uh, I just didn't have it until I officially gave up. And then today in the uh, in the match, I, I was outclassed. I, I I can't even complain about nerves or anything. I had fun. I I was relaxed. I had fun. I didn't play my best by any means. I, I don't think I was even close to my best. I mean, but Daryl Gurney is a heck of a player, and he showed why he's one of the eight PDC players here and I'm just a North American player that qualified to play against him. I wouldn't say just a North American player. What you accomplished thus far is, is pretty amazing. Uh, I think that we've all seen in the past couple of days that the talent level here is growing and we're catching up. We really are. We, we may not be there yet, but we're definitely catching up. Talk to me a little, about, a, a little bit about your scoring today. Uh, you said you weren't playing your, your best necessarily. Um, you know, obviously I know you pretty well, and, and it looked to me like your release might have been a little tight. Did you feel anything like that up there? Certainly, I I had a lot of slack darts. I, I so I lean on my scoring quite a bit. When I do practice, it's typically just twenties. I or or I'll just play legs of five and one. I I'm one that feels as in North America especially that I score with or better than ever. Like, I, I really do. I, I don't know that there's a better scorer in America, but it's the doubles that I get sketchy and can lose legs on. I practice the scoring, and I, I'm my, my typical, like, routine is I want to be at at least 61 after 12. Like, I, I want to be throwing about 110 per, per turn, and I was nowhere near that. I mean, like, I had moments this week where I was around there but no for for a consistency purpose I was especially the the matches I played on stage I was nowhere near that so my scoring wasn't where it wanted to be but my doubling was pretty solid uh, especially today I mean I you took that big 76 in the first leg yeah yeah, yeah. to and win the first leg I, I felt pretty good about that one and then the other leg that I won I mean I, I first started that I, I felt good about the doubles. I, I just I didn't have the scoring power that I usually have. And and like I said, there's no way to practice doubles. It's it's so hard. Like the only way to practice that kind of pressure for doubles is to play on stage or to play in that environment. Whereas scoring, I feel like you can practice that in your basement all day long. It's it's just the repetition of throwing a twenty. Sure. So it's it's a different beast. The the fact that I didn't score well certainly hurts, but I, overall, I'm, I'm very happy with the week. I accomplished my main goal, certainly not my secondary goals, but I'm uh, I'm satisfied. It's a, it's a good stepping stone for moving forward. Okay, good. Um, and and we, we obviously expect and hope to see you in more events like this. I do have one more question for you. Uh, it's about the atmosphere in the room. 
So you probably remember the Desert Classic. Desert Classic was nowhere near the atmosphere we have here today, which is great to see in North America. Your introduction, I know that a lot of us just standing around in the back got goosebumps from it. We really did. Talk to me about what it feels like to have that instruction, have the music playing, to come up there and start singing with your opponent uh, and chanting to the crowd. What is your heart, your throat? Just, you know, where, what are you feeling at that point? So first and foremost, I have to say hats off to Daryl Bernie. I, I wasn't necessarily needling this guy, but I was enjoying it. And like yesterday, we had the players meet and greet. And I shook Max Hop's hand, and then I kind of walked by Daryl Gurney on purpose to, to kind of ghost him, give him a little bit of needle. But, I mean, it was all in fun, and he was nothing but a professional and a nice guy. I, I, I have to admit, him calling me up for his walk-on and getting the crowd going, I, that, was, that was a good moment. I, I appreciated that quite a bit, because he... he I think he gets it. That's the biggest thing. He he knows why he's here. It, it's funny, and I might be revealing some behind-the-scenes stuff, but I uh, this morning when, we, when I was warming up, I had Barry Hearn come into the room, and we were all warming up, and he was talking about the numbers from last night in America, and he's like, you know, he's like, we did really well in America. He's like, the numbers for TV were great. He's like, the East Coast especially. It was midnight, and they're doing well. And I think these players, and he was talking mostly to Daryl Gurney, Gerwin Price, and I, I believe it was James Wade. I, I, I'm not positive on the third one, but it was mostly the PDC players that he was talking to, and he's revealing the fact that we did well as a country for the numbers, and I think that translates into Daryl Gurney. He realizes that this isn't about winning the Mustang. This is about getting the numbers well and growing the American market, and Daryl did everything that he was expected of to do that while still trying to win a beautiful red Mustang. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to talk to Barry or Matt Porter yet about the numbers, but uh, coming in, we've had a number of different meetings, and so there were three pillars of success for this event. Pillar one was ticket sales, which did a, a great job. Uh, you know, I think that there's a, a lot of players that and, and just fans that decided to come out, again, so, uh, thanks to the coordinator as well, uh, Charles, who sold a bunch of tickets, which, which is excellent. Um, number two was the quality of play. We showed the quality of play. And number three is ratings. And uh, if you're saying that, that, that those words came out of Barry's mouth, I'm sure that, you know, in my mind, that, that means that this could become, and it's very likely to become, an annual event. So that makes me really excited. No, to be honest, I think of the three you just mentioned, the second one's probably the weakest. I, I mean, our our standard of play still isn't up to par, and I, I take full credibility on that. Like, we have to get better. And what you guys are doing with the CDC is moving us in the right direction. I know that my game has evolved quite a bit over the last couple of years, but we still got a ways to go. And until everyone's coming out week in and week out for these tournaments and pushing us, it, we're not going to get there. But we're in the right direction. I mean, it, it just takes a little more dedication, a little more time. In fact, I have to admit, so I've, I've had a couple of, I'm a fan certainly of the PDC darts and when I got done the first person in the room to console me or to to talk to me was James Wade and he's one that I, I haven't necessarily been the biggest fan of I, I mean I, I once heard him say that darts gets in the way of his life and, and that that upsets me because he's living my dream and to, to have someone say that it, it's a problem is upsetting but I get where he's coming from, and he was the first person to look at me and say, like, I'm sure you're not happy, but you're not happy is a good thing. Because if you show me a good loser, I'll show you a loser. Like, that, that is a thing. Like, you have to want to get better. And to have a guy of his stature be the first person to look at me and be like, you know what? Like, keep it up. That meant a lot. And, and I... I, I gotta give credit to the, these guys. I haven't talked to all of them, but the ones I have to talk to, they, they're stand-up guys and they, they certainly get it. And they know why they're here. They're not just here to, to pummel eight North Americans. 
they're here to promote the sport and, and put on I, a show and, and put, put on, a, on show. a show and i think that's exactly what's happening I, peter manley pulled me aside as i was walking to the back of the room today and said a lot different than it was uh, ten, ten years ago mate absolutely right uh it, to me it's, we're, it's so exciting to be here with this atmosphere in north america yeah it's it's weird i i, I hear I, i'm a younger dark player obviously but i hear about the the good old days of the 80s when the pdc players were coming over here and playing all the time and our north american players were doing well and all of that and then something happened whether it be i mean whoever you talk to there's different scenarios but something happened that we got left behind by a lot but i think we're starting to come back that, we're that, catching that, up is the hashtag yeah, yeah that bell curve is coming thank and you conley litton for that hashtag by no, the way no no and that it, it, i tell you if if we can keep it rolling and keep improving within five to ten years i'm sure we can see a player playing on their stage consistently. That's our goal and it always has been. DJ, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on your play this weekend. Man, it was a sure. joy to watch you and we're excited to see you in Philadelphia and before that at the match play. Man, cheers, man. We'll, cheers. Uh, we'll definitely be there. Thank you. Cheers, guys. We'll see you soon.